Oh, Kayali, Kayali, Kayali. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are doing a dedicated, yes, dedicated review on the House of Kayali's fragrance, and this is Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. 01. This is the latest release up to date, although there is something else coming out that we finally know what it is. Super excited about that. But for now, this is the latest offering that is available on the market. And I figured, you know what? I need to go ahead and review this thing because I've had some months to play with it. And yeah, but Eden Juicy App is what we're talking about today. So I'm super excited about it. And yeah, we're going to get right all the way into it. But before we do that, Elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone, Pat McGrath has a hold on me as a late and we are rocking matte trance lipstick extravaganza get into it you all i am really in a fall mood it's gloomy it's rainy it's chilly today and yeah this is definitely giving me fall pink per se so extravaganza by pat mcgrath is your lipstick of the day keeping with fall vibes and fruity vibes i went with a scent i've been craving lately your fragrance of the day is from tom ford and it is lost cherry i haven't worn this scent in a minute i basically put it away for the summertime and i decided to reach for it and yeah Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Yeah, it's still giving. It's your fragrance of the day. So as always, when it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category is mood. And that is, how does this fragrance make me feel? Where am I wearing this fragrance to? Second is strength. And that is on a scale of one to 10, with one just being water in a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear juice that I smell for days and days and days. The third category is longevity. And that is, how many hours long did this fragrance last on me and or skin? I can still smell smell it. Then the fourth category, which is the most important for a lot of people, and that is, is this a compliment getting fragrance? Yes or no? So that's how we rate fragrances here. So yeah, today we're going to get into Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. To start off, this fragrance was released in 2021. This was a end of summer, fall type of release. I remember when it rolled out. I remember it was available in stores and it sold out. And then next thing you know, I was only able to get it online. It was like a whole thing. But uh, I remember smelling this one. This was a scent that had very mixed reviews when it first came out. And I truly believe in all of my heart. This is a scent that people really need to sit with. This is a scent you get to play with and spend a little bit more time with. So fast forward to the spring of 2022, Mona and friends, Kayali and friends, were very gracious enough to send me over this bottle of Eden Juicy Apple, which I talked about in a previous video. So very excited to have received this fragrance, which allowed me to really play with it and give a real review versus the one time spray I had smelled it when it first came out back in 2021. This fragrance comes in three sizes. The first size is a 10 mil size and it retails for $25. Then there is the 50 mil size, which is the size that I have, as you've seen in the thumbnail, that retails for $85. And then the last one, the big daddy size, the 100 mil retails for $118. You can find these at Huda Beauty's website, as well as on Sephora. I will say price point wise, I think the price point is very affordable. There is something for everyone in the price point. So I think that is fantastic. You don't have to break the bank for this niche fragrance. Cause yes, it's niche because it is a only fragrance perfume situation. Yes, it's niche. So for the keynotes, we have top juicy red apple, black currant, pink grapefruit and lychee. The middle notes we have wild berries, raspberry blossom, jasmine, rose centifolia. And then on the dry down the base, we have vanilla flower, amber crystals, sugared moss, sensual musk. So we have a lot going on in this very happy, very fruity fragrance. Standard Kayali packaging and the main keynotes are listed on the back here. So if you ever need to reference it and don't remember, you know what you're wearing. So yeah, you open it and the Juicy Apple has the red on the side, so you know what you're getting. And it's in here snug. <laughs> and yeah, we got it out. And here is the 50 mil size of Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. And I have been wearing it. I got me a little dent in there. So yeah, let's get into this rating system for this fragrance. We have our trusty scent strips. Look at that spray, y'all. Get into that atomizer. It sprays and spreads all over the surface. So it's very easy to literally bathe in this fragrance. And I love that about Kayali's fragrances. Woo. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Mm. Honey, it is apple all through here. Apple, yes. <laughs> so let's talk about this. The mood of this fragrance. Mm. Where am I wearing this fragrance to? What am I doing? Let me tell you something. Straight up, this is date night. This is date night and dare I say, really, it's the after date night. It's the nightcap part of date night. That is what this scent is amazing for. It is fantastic and even because it's sweet. It is extremely sweet. If you recall, in the notes, we got that apple, that black currant, you got lychee. You got some vanilla in here and things. Y'all, this is very sweet. So very sweet fragrances make amazing options for date night and eating juicy apple is no exception to the rule. I mean, plus look how sexy the bottle is. It's red. We don't get real bottles every day. So this is absolutely a sexy, I feel like a snack and I'm out with my man, my bae, my honey bun, all of the above, or in my case, the head elf. <laughs> Now let's talk about strength on a scale of one to 10. This is not a powerhouse scent, but yes, it is present. To be sweet, sugary, delightful goodness that it is. Strength of this one is a seven. This is a seven because it did create a cloud in here. It's fruity. Is it, is it the strongest Kaoli fragrance? No, it is not. But is it necessarily the weakest one, the softest one? No, it isn't. No, this one is a solid seven to me. Now let's talk about longevity. And with this one, yes, it's fruity, yes, it's sugary, but surprisingly, I get a solid five hours out of this scent, which I did not expect because when I first sprayed it for the first time, I was like, is this gonna be light? I mean, it's fruity, it's sugary, but is this gonna disappear in 30 minutes? No, and that's why I say, no, this is some really good juice. It's a true perfume, you all. This lasts for five hours on my skin, which is about, you know, standard. Not the worst, not the best, you know, hey. Five hours for a sweet, fruity scent is very good to me. Now for the last category, and that is compliment getting factor. Does this one receive compliments? And let me tell you, this is a man magnet. So if you are a person that is trying to attract the male gaze, the male attention, you are trying to get you a man during this here cuffing season that is coming up. Let me tell you. This right here, this right here. Out of all of my Kaoli fragrances, as well as my date night scents and whatnot, it's very rare that the head elf, which is my significant other, as y'all know, y'all have seen them on Instagram, <laughs> it's very rare that the head elf immediately likes something and knows that he likes it. it uh, he knows when I wear this scent. I let him um, smell all of my fragrances because he doesn't know what anything is. He's not, He's not a fray kid, fray kid, like especially for women stuff. But whenever I, I tell him to smell this one or I wear it, he knows it. He's like, you got that, that Kaoli apple on that real one. You have that one on. He literally will say that to me. And then he wants to snuggle up to me even more. There's that. <laughs> I mean, so this, is, this one is a total guy magnet, especially if your guy is like mine and he loves apples. Like he absolutely loves apple. That is his favorite fruit. So of course, I mean, they put it in a bottle. Thanks Mona, we appreciate it because yeah, my man loves this on me. So this is an absolute compliment getter. This is a man eater scent. I think it is perfect again for date night or if you want to keep the date night going. It's, that's what it's for to me. Mm. It's fun, it's flirty, but without be feeling like I'm 13 wearing it. This is for a woman because again, the holding pattern, the lasting strength of this fragrance is of a perfume. It's a grown woman scent. It's just a fun, flirty, sexy grown woman type of scent with a sugary fruity vibe. That's what it is. So yeah, I'm digging this, super excited. And of course I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the fact that Kaoli is about to drop a cherry centered um, fragrance that's coming out very, very soon. I'm very excited about that one. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I will be purchasing that. I'm going to need it because I love cherry. Cherry is one of my favorite scent notes. I eat cherries, y'all saw it made my absolute favorites and obsessions as of lately. 
yeah so i'm very excited to see how their fragrance is going to do and how it's going to perform but yeah all in all i'm here for eating juicy apple this was outside of their citrus one to me this was their second time really doing a fruit scent so i'm pleased with how kaoli has done fruit i will say i've noticed that some people tried to get mad at it and hate on this scent it was like oh it's kind of like an adult body splash or whatnot those are people that just smelled it but didn't actually wear it on their skin because when you wear this on your skin you will see it does develop and it actually does stick to you again it's not a 13 year old scent it is a grown woman scent that just wants to have fun and has some sugary fruity goodness on her so that is my take on kaoli's eating juicy apple i'm very pleased to have it and yeah i'm enjoying wearing this at night <laughs> As always, Els, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you here for this fragrance? Do you own this fragrance? Have you smelled it? What are your thoughts? Definitely drop them in the comments below. Y'all know I do read them and I do respond. As always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, please hit that like button. And if you're not here for any of it, that is okay. I understand. I still appreciate your view. But until next time, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, Els.